Y'all ready to see a bunch of warnings and disclaimers? My name's Lee Boy. And my name is Fuzz. So, uh, what are we talking about today, Lee Boy? Are you trying to get us canceled? Hmm? Ain't nobody checking for us, Fuzz. Now, today I want to talk about something that irritates me. Vaccine mandates. <laughs> I didn't know you were an anti-vaxxer. I would have never came in to do this show. You got to be out of your mind. Wow, Fuzz, the jab got you cursing now? Shoot, you must be real serious about your health. But quick question, if you got your vaccine, why are you so worried I didn't get mine? Ain't you supposed to be protected? Uh, well, well, well yeah, Lee boy. Uh, I just don't want any of your unvaccinated germs on me. Hmm. I'm lost here, Fuzz. So, you got your vaccine to only hang around other vaccinated people? Who are you guys protecting yourselves from? And, you know, you know the vaccine does not prevent transmission. So, there's a case to be made that you happy-go-lucky vaxxers took off your mask, stopped social distancing, and partied us back into the pandemic. Not true, Lee Boy. I'm the responsible one here. I just have to be very careful because all the variants, there's alpha, beta, gamma, delta, and mu. <laughs> and do you know why there are so many variants, Fuzz? Well, in part, it's because the over 2 billion people that have taken the vaccine have given their body instructions to defend itself against the coronavirus from early 2020, which has caused the virus to evolve. Now, you know, I got my degree from YouTube University, so let's let the real doctors explain this one. If you vaccinate into an active pandemic with vaccines like this, what you will get is a evolutionary pressure for a radiation of variants, an evolutionary radiation of uh, different molecular signatures, changes in the spike protein that will then cause the vaccines to be less and less effective at producing immunity, which is exactly what we see. Hey, wasn't that from Joe Rogan? Isn't that the guy that took horse pills? <laughs> well, for the record, ivermectin has been used on over 700 million people since the 1970s. But yeah, yeah, that's the guy. And uh, I can tell by your response exactly where you get your news from. Which is funny, because since we brought Lee Boy and Fuzz back, I'm sure we traded places on where we cite our sources. That's right, Lee Boy, and that's also why I'm so confused. I thought you were Team Democrat, and Team Democrat is also Team Vaccine. <laughs> Yay! Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I ain't never endorsed Biden now. I just couldn't morally support another Trump campaign. But the vaccine shouldn't be politicized anyway. I mean, this should be about science and the overall preservation of human life. But... This just seems like a huge cash grab for Big Pharma, if you ask me. I mean, whatever happened to diet, exercise, and vitamin C and D? Well, of course people should live healthy lives, Lee Boy. But part of that is utilizing modern science. Oh, kind of like Dr. Fauci did when he funded the gain-of-function research that created the coronavirus in Wuhan? You do not know what you are talking about, quite frankly. And I want to say that officially. You do not know what you are talking about. Let's okay, you get NIH. one person. Let's read from the NIH Adam, Chair, definition can I answer of gain the of function. This is your definition that you guys wrote. It says that scientific research that increases the transmissibility among mammals is gain of function. They took animal viruses that only occur in animals and they increased their transmissibility to humans. How you can say that is not gain of function. It is not. It's a dance and you're dancing around this because you're trying to obscure responsibility for four million people dying around the world okay. from a pandemic. If the point that you are making is that the, the, the grant that was funded as a sub award from EcoHealth to Wuhan created SARS-CoV-2. That's where you are getting. Let me finish. We don't know. Well, we don't wait know a minute. If it did I come can, from the lab, but you, all the evidence is pointing that it came from the lab. You, and there will be responsibility for those who funded the right. lab, including yourself. Oh, wow, Lee boy. I don't know who to trust anymore. All I know is I want everyone to be safe and do what's best for the community. I feel you, Fuzz, but it doesn't help when you're judging others off making decisions with their own bodies. Now, I'm sure the vaccine has stopped a lot of deaths, hospitalizations, and even given people a peace of mind, but it's not a cure. And what's not being discussed here are the 
tons of healthcare workers that have refused to be inoculated and the documented adverse reactions to the shot. On Monday, well, let's just say, I don't know what's happening to my body, okay? It's a good question to me as it is for you, but I know that on Monday, I was a very functioning person, zero medical issues at work every day. I've been a CNA for 25 years and I love my patients. I love my job. I got the COVID vaccine, the Moderna on January the 4th. On Tuesday, I had mild flu-like symptoms. I went to work. Um, stomach pains and diarrhea some you know on tuesday normal flu like symptoms wednesday i wasn't feeling good i wasn't able to go to work my tongue began to spasm out of control by thursday morning i was in full body convulsion oh no lee boy that is so unfortunate for them but in this case the benefits outweigh the risks so uh, I guess you'll be getting your booster shot then. How about we just take care of it now? I know you don't mind a little jab, do you? <laughs> what are you gonna do with that, Lee boy? <laughs> so like I was saying, I don't like vaccine mandates. My name is Lee boy. Have a nice day.